Hogwarts Legacy is finally getting an expansion. And I have to say, finally. This game is great and everyone pretty much loves it. And the best part, it sold something near 20 million copies. 20 million! That is absolutely huge. So obviously it needs an expansion and it's finally getting one. Welcome back to the channel. So as you know, Hogwarts Legacy was one of the biggest games of 2023, which was recently confirmed. Easily tr a top three best games of 2023. Obviously, Baldur's Gate 3 needed to win that and it won it. But Hogwarts Legacy was for a lot of people top three, top five minimum, top ten worst worst scenario. It really was just a good game by warner brothers themselves has sold 22 million copies and in a 22. year of awesome games hogwarts legacy stood out as an example of licensed games done correctly and it propelled the developer avalanche software into mainstream relevancy but recently there were some statements made by warner brothers interactive in response to the sales success and if you're a fan of hogwarts legacy and the entire harry potter ip you're gonna want to hear all of this so today we're gonna cover all of the latest hogwarts legacy news and harry potter news in the gaming world we have a lot to talk about in this video so check the chapters for easy viewing don't forget to enter the ps5 giveaway at 150,000 subscribers wow. and without further delay let's get started now you may have heard this first piece of news already because it was a pretty huge deal but it was recently confirmed by warner brothers that over 22 million copies of hogwarts legacy have been sold in the year 2023 meaning it's very possible that is huge possibly the best-selling game of the entire year it's been a long time since the best-selling video game of the year wasn't a rockstar game or the next installment of a call of duty game and the fact that, that is so true that is actually so sadly true to a degree that this record was set by a brand new ip is a massive achievement now in case you didn't know warner brothers reportedly didn't expect hogwarts legacy to sell nearly as well as it did and the final sales numbers were more than double their projections were significant I will say, I admit, yeah, no one expected this. Now, I did expect it's going to sell actually better than expected because, man, Harry Potter fans don't give a shit, okay? Uh, those people seemingly will just buy anything Harry Potter. And keep in mind, Harry Potter is the literally best-selling book of all time, if I'm not mistaken. So, and yeah, uh, Mommy JK, my favorite mill rolling, is a literal billionaire because of it, okay? This franchise is huge, so I expected it to sell better than people expect because the, you know, book fans and whatnot are gonna go and try and play it, but man, it sold really good. And you know why? Because it's simply a good game, okay? Even the biggest detractors, like this is pretty much the worst thing that people have to say about Harry Potter, uh, Harry Potter, I constantly say that, Hogwarts Legacy is, well, Pretty much the fact, oh yeah, it's good, but it's not as good as Elden Ring or the Dark Souls series. It doesn't have so many YouTube channels and videos going around exploring it, so it's not that good. Well, first of all, these games are not actually one for one similar. They're kind of open world games where you do things that you want and progress and whatnot, but they're not that similar, okay? Uh... I don't think it's a hot take to say that, yeah, Elden Ring and Dark Souls are different from Harry Potter and Hogwarts Legacies. Who would have expected that, right? But to the point of people talking less about Hogwarts Legacies and whatnot, true, people are talking about it less than, for example, the El uh, Elden Ring and Dark Souls series games. Yes, but this is one game versus how many? When Dark Souls first came out, there were less people actually talking a bit, uh, of it than Hogwarts Legacy. And over time, it, you know, just grew and grew and grew and grew. The same thing can actually happen to the Hogwarts Legacy game title. It is possible. And also, again, they're not one for one. You know, D Dark Souls is about defeating bosses. Uh, Hogwarts Legacies is about riding a broomstick and then turning someone into an explosive battle and throwing it on a child. Very different prerogatives. And one is clearly more badass than the other. The throwing the explosive battle on ch children. That's kind of metal. In any case, Hogwarts Legacies has a long, long way to go. Okay? And... The thing is, it has actually a lot of people talking about it. The reason you don't probably see it even as gamers is because YouTube puts Hogwarts Legacies in 
the general vicinity of not gaming, but actually Harry Potter fans. Turns out, turns out, there's a huge portion of the internet literally kind of dedicated to Harry Potter stuff. Theories, recaps, explore. It's pretty crazy, okay? It is wildly crazy, honestly, if YouTube starts to recommend you those videos. You know, it is what it is. It's pretty good. So, yeah, that is the biggest thing that people who want to say how Hogwarts Legacy was a bad game are going to tell you. Oh, it's it's smaller than Elden Ring. Wow. Oh, my. That's so sad. Justine. To put it simply, Hogwarts Legacy is what you get when you respect a beloved IP and put a ton of love and care into a project instead of rushing it out the door to make some quick cash. Obviously, Hogwarts Legacy is not a perfect game. There's a lot of room for improvement, especially yep. whenever it comes to a sequel. But for the game that it is, Hogwarts Legacy is a fantastic game that absolutely deserves its success. And hopefully other publishers take note of this and start giving... It has modding, by the way their licensed games the kind of love and care that's needed to replicate this success i really hope the team over at xbox and machine games have seen the success with hogwarts legacy and they try to replicate that with indiana jones now in terms of hogwarts like uh no i'm i'm calling indiana jones an absolute failure already because it's uh, it, it's gonna have probably a strong independent woman uh, don't need no main protagonist so there you go you see being the best-selling game of 2023 the only potential wrench that could be thrown into it is the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom as of recording this video nintendo hasn't confirmed the sales numbers for it but unless tears of the kingdom managed to sell over 22 million copies last i doubt it it's like what was the difference between the last zelda game and tears of the kingdom no one knows. It's literally the same game being sold over and over. The Zelda fanboys are at some point going to be like tired of this. Dear, Hogwarts Legacy is going to remain the top dog of 2023. And even if Zelda does kick it off its throne, it's still finishing at the number two spot, which is something to be proud of, especially for the team over at Avalanche Software that I feel like deserve a lot more credit than they're getting at this current moment. Now, like I briefly mentioned before, the president of Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment had an interview with Variety not too long ago, and he said some pretty interesting things about the future of the publisher and WB's goals in general. Now, during the interview with Variety, WB Interactive president David had it expressed how proud he and everyone at the company were of hogwarts legacy he said and i quote Makes it's not sense. just the units sold that i'm proud of it's just that it delighted the fans so much it brought harry potter to life in a new way for gamers where they could be themselves in this world and this story and that's what the team at avalanche set out to do when they were developing the game and i think that's really why it resonated so well and it remains the best-selling game of the year in the entire industry worldwide he said that's a position that typically is held by one of these incumbent sequel games and we're so proud that we've been able to break into the top ranks. Adad also mentioned in this interview that another team is hard at work on the upcoming Quidditch game, and they're excited for fans to see it, especially now that they- Eh, yeah, does anyone care about the Quidditch game, though? I don't. I mean, Quidditch is a stupid thing in Harry Potter, if you know about it. It- I don't- I don't like it at all. I mean- it's probably gonna sell well again because of the Harry Potter fans, but man, I don't know. Bro, I, I don't know about that one. Unless I can cast Snooks while riding a broomstick and trying to play, I don't know, hand sports ball in the Wizarding World, bro, it's, it's not that interesting. How about a dueling game? How about that? That would be pretty lit. They know there's such a passionate Harry Potter fan base in the world of gaming. Now, it shouldn't have to be said that Warner Brothers kind of turned their back on the Harry Potter IP during the 2010s. And it's honestly kind of a miracle that the Hogwarts Legacy game came out at all, especially whenever you look at the context of the company paying the bills. Following the conclusion of the original movie run, WB tried to keep the Harry Potter ball rolling with the Fantastic Beasts series, which honestly I thought started off really strong, but quickly lost the public's interest. And have I even watched the... Oh, I haven't watched this. this this one was pretty... This one was okay. When Fantastic Beasts came out, people like watched it, I watched it, and I'm like, this is kind of okay-ish. The characters aren't unlikable. The The main characters clearly retarded, but hey, it is what it is. But, you know, it was what it was. And then th this came out, and it's like, oh, an emo kid. How, how great. Uvu. And uh, that was pretty much it. <laughs> yep. And then this came out, and I didn't see it. I Dumbledore's gay, by the way. That's that's the big reveal. 
and failed to really impress at the box office during the 2010s warner brothers slowed down on the new harry potter merchandise and projects aside from the theme parks and it started to look like the ip was going to sit dormant for the most part hogwarts legacy was greenlit in 2017 the project was leaked in 2018 and then the reveal trailer happened in 2020 but by the time 2022 came around they abandoned the fantastic b series and would go radio silent on almost everything related to the harry potter ip out smart no one likes gay dumbledore it is what it is side of hogwarts legacy that was cooking during all of that time so despite the hype of the reveal trailer the project was still seen as a bit risky and of course the skepticism amongst many gamers and journalists were at an all-time high so the fact that avalanche was still able to pull this game off despite all of the challenges oh you know what i just remembered about uh when looking at the castle so they had there was one stupid thing that the harry potter fans were talking about that they didn't like about uh, the hogwarts legacy series and it's the fact oh why is this open world game about the open world not about the castle i wanted it to be about the castle literally calling the game bad because it's not about the castle but about the open world more than the castle it's like Bro, really? Are you gonna be that stupid? What 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 is this? The stoop be stupid day? Stop! That's not even an argument. Stop, please! You're embarrassing yourself. Your ancestors are currently looking you at down the heavens, and they're like saying, "I don't know this sh piece of shit." Like, come on they faced was kind of a miracle following the runaway success of the game though warner brothers has seemingly recommitted to the harry potter ip it's since been confirmed that there's a new H also someone needs to make a mod where you can cast some kind of speed spell and then just whoosh, and you know kick them like balls because you know short men aren't men it is what it is that's right boy did you think you're gonna escape from that short men are weak typically trash that tries to make the world the first place for everyone so whatever goblins are not supposed to exist hey it is what it is i want to i want a spell that gives me speed and you can just you know kick them away like a football or even better they turn into a blood mist ha huh. oh that would be beautiful dude if if this game was slightly a bit more, well, a lot more brutal, it would absolutely be so good. Someone needs to make a full brutality mod for Hogwarts Legacy. That would be nice. Committed to the Harry Potter IP. Like when you turn someone into a battle and throw it at someone, you can hear them scream. It's since been confirmed that there's a new HBO series adaptation in the works and potentially even a few new movies on top of some expansions coming to the Wizarding World theme parks. Obviously, uh, the HBO, I actually remember covering this. The HBO Max thing is literally the whole Harry Potter book series line for, for line that's going to be a generation spanning uh, endeavor pretty much. It's going to be kind of crazy. Uh, new cast for everything. It's gonna be wild. It's gonna be a one for one book adaptation, pretty much as much as possible, line for line. Gonna be crazy the wizarding world theme parks obviously hogwarts legacy wasn't the only factor in this new commitment to harry potter from warner brothers but many insiders and analysts believe that it played a very large part in it the fact that a harry potter game sold 20 million copies in less than a year during a time where warner brothers was putting very little effort into the ip is a huge deal and a massive shakeup for the publisher so mark my words you're going to be seeing a lot of new harry potter projects announced over the next two years and a lot of them are going to be directly thanks to the success of hogwarts legacy now whatever Whenever it comes to the future of harry potter games we know about and some of you guys have played quidditch champions which has the potential no. to be one of the biggest live service games in the world if they handle that game correctly now in addition to that there's been a ton of rumors of some kind of harry potter mmo in development as well as a oh yeah the harry potter mmo yeah that sounds great i'm not gonna lie that sounds like a 10 out of 10 banger please daddy give it to me right on my face mouth wide open and uh, doing the bruh come on I, I want a new MMO, but if it's as good as this, sh yeah, hell yeah. Let me be that Death Eater. Let me purify the world of those na uh, pesky, useless uh, non-wizards until the point where they figured out that wizards exist and then just start shooting wizards because wizards are actually super weak and stupid. Dude, the wizard race is not going to win against humanity. 
literally a gun is stronger than a wand 10 out 10 times out of 10 it's not even close bruh <laughs> the vis wizards don't even understand the concept of biological weapons okay bro the wizards are so lucky well the harry potter universe makes literally no sense and it's kind of funny how little sense it makes but you know it is what it is jk rowling is still the greatest milf of our time harry potter horror game although i'm not sure how much i believe on that one the horror game rumors came from a very credible source who has leaked several harry potter things correctly in the past but i'm not sure warner brothers would sign off on a horror game set in this universe but then again it's possible that this horror game is actually just a darker and more mature game than hogwarts legacy now on top of that we know that there's a sequel to hogwarts legacy in the works and avalanche software is going to be building it on unreal engine 5 which is going to look awesome but that's probably still a few years away from a reveal so yeah from every Thing that we've heard from warner brothers it sounds like the harry potter and the wizarding world ip is back to the forefront of their thought which honestly is only a good thing for us gamers with that i'm sure we're going to get some live service stuff like quidditch champions and some mobile projects but as long as we get a few good single player games out of the mix i'll be perfectly fine especially if we get a hogwarts legacy sequel and honestly i would be totally interested in a horror game if it's one that's actually done right honestly one thing that would be pretty cool is if we got a harry potter game where you were able to be the villain that's one of the aspects in the modern gaming world that isn't true 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 but that's never happening jk rowling is literally never gonna allow that to happen you are you are gonna be the powerful diversity inclusion in the game that's that's the only sad thing about this because again she she has that she she's not selling anyone the rights to any of her ips well her i her her i uh, one ip technically her one IP to anyone without the, without deciding how much of a <laughs> inclusivity, uh, you know, virtue signal you're gonna be. It is what it is, boys. Done quite enough. Let us be the villain, create our own Horcruxes, and be the ultimate dark wizard. It's similar to Star Wars. Like, of course I want to be a Jedi, but there's also sometimes that I. Are you kidding me? What's the point of being a Jedi? The Jedi are literally retarded children. Stop, please. The Jedi suck. I want to be Darth Vader. So let me be Darth Vader or Voldemort. Now, of course, it can't be one of my videos without... Well, Star Wars itself, itself literally is brain damage because not it's it's just bad and it's stupid. They Palpatine, everyone, it is what it is. Talking about the prospects of a DLC, but there isn't much new that we can say about it. Warner Brothers may be committed to the Harry Potter IP, and they may be really stoked about the success of Hogwarts Legacy, but I don't think anything that's been said by Warner Brothers or Avalanche in the last few months has suggested that we're any closer to a DLC than we were before. I think it's great that the Harry Potter IP is getting more love than it did before, but if you're looking at this from a WB perspective, they're probably just more eager to get projects out the door as opposed to adding on to the stuff that people have already purchased i don't think a dlc is completely out of the question but i seriously doubt that it's very high on the priority list especially since a hogwarts legacy sequel has already been greenlit and avalanche software are moving over to unreal engine 5 which is going to take some time to get used to so don't get your hopes too high for a dlc for hogwarts legacy but don't let that discourage you because there's a lot of stuff in the pipeline now you could be like Hello. me and still huff on the hopium that a dlc is still possible especially whenever you look at god of war ragnarok it is possible it's coming everyone knows it the game director eric williams said that they did not have any plans to do god of war ragnarok dlc and then a year later we got god of war ragnarok valhalla so needless to say i have trust issues whenever it comes to game directors and just game developers in general because on one hand i want to believe that a hogwarts legacy dlc is never going to happen because avalanche has said that they had no plans to do post-launch content but then uh, they always say that just to not get the, the hopes up and whatnot oh but it's always happening it's happening boys when you look at this game and it's the most sold game of 2023 and it's just so hard to fathom that they won't be doing any dlc for this game also it's one brothers bro you think you think they don't want money after all the disasters that they have been a part of yo they want that ka ching ka -ching. and considering this actually makes money not loses money you you, you you know that they're gonna make an expansion and not even put Amber Heard in it, which is gonna be crazy quality.
game like they were essentially saying no we don't want your money this time but get your 70 dollars ready because hogwarts legacy 2 is coming out and that's where we want you to spend your money which i guess that's something we can appreciate i would have just loved to see some extra mileage added to hogwarts legacy maybe something or just anything to provide further replayability i might be alone here but one thing that we can look forward to still is the fact that the haunted hogsmeade quest is going to be available next month for those of you that have an xbox and a pc and a nintendo switch so if you've only ever played hogwarts legacy on those platforms i guess you're going to get new content next month for all of us with ps5s i guess we're just going to have to wait until the sequel to hogwarts legacy 2 but what do you guys think about this do it'd be what it is do you think that hogwarts legacy 2 is going to get announced before or after some new harry potter projects release will we see the harry potter show get started and the first season release before hogwarts legacy 2 let me know down below thanks again for watching this video if you've enjoyed my coverage do me a favor and hit the like button subscribe to the channel with your notifications it is what it is. Good times, Miss Nemo. Oh, man. Hey, it's happening. There's no way it doesn't happen. Everyone knows it's happening. It is what it is, boys. Just just live with it. It is, it is what it be, you know? Elden Ring gets DLC revealed. We already know that. This also is kind of good. It is what it is. Anyway, this was Quizzer 7. Miss Nemo, everyone. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.